Rose Pry together. Yeah. We've known this guy is a problem for so long. The butcher. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we should just deal with him. Oh. Oh, he was stunned. Yeah, the right? whole time. Um, I was. Glad you went over me. I was just talking about the. Uh, yeah, that was nice. My the call to action. I got oh, the, right. the original idea from the Grumps. They have the next episode, previous episode, and subscribe. And I did that for a while. And uh, eventually, I um. God, I don't know what that is. I don't know why he gets out of it. It, it could be because I, I mess up the grapple or something. I don't know. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Nice, nice, nice. Um, oh, am I supposed to grab him too? Yeah, you gotta grab oh, him. Darn. And then that's when you can beat him up. Oh, that's true. I actually, it was you jumping on him every time. Yeah. Ow. I did the... Yeah, I keep doing that thing. Yeah. I don't what think happened? you can do the jump grapple. I think that's actually the thing that's causing But I it. didn't. I just ran up to him. No, I did, though. Oh. I just turned it off. That's really bad. I keep doing that. Oh, boy. Take both of these. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right, we gotta stay Okay, this alive. is a terrible weapon for this, because he keeps doing that fucking thing. So does that. Nice. Yeah, I don't really understand how we how we guaranteed connect with that. In fact, I don't think it's an option to guaranteed hit it. I think we have to aim up, but I also think we have to wait the both be shooting him. Oh, I'm down. And I'm aware that I stopped talking about the oh. call action. <laughs> this is yeah, this confusing. is too intense. <laughs> I'll come back to that. Yeah. Well. This, yeah, this fight is, is just... I remember we were actually much better at it before. I think we should actually push forward. Yeah, yeah, shoot forward. Yep, it's jump grapple. That's the thing. It, it so actually, you can't jump you grapple. can't jump grapple. Him. Okay, so just don't grapple him. try and do that. <laughs> We're sharing this foam over our arms. <laughs> it's really annoying. And yeah. it's, a, it's a lot like sharing the covers with somebody <laughs> who's just <laughs> unruly. <laughs> like, no, I'm using the covers tonight. Oh, oh, I'm go. using the covers tonight. Double there. gravel. All the way across the sky. What does it mean? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Nice okay. dodge. It's a, good, it's a good start. <laughs> I really, Future Earth, please put us just a slow motion of him dodging <laughs> right under that barrel. That was priceless. <laughs> yeah, definitely shoot forward. Because there's like an up thing. It's very weird. It's so weird that we have to both be doing that. I guess the intention is for one person to be on the other side. Nice. Oh, shit, sorry. That's okay. Gotta shoot the man. He's doing a lot of... There we go. That reminds me so much of Alien Hominid. Oh, This the actually might have been made by those same people. Yeah, the animation style really reminds me of it. Oh, am I supposed to be here? Future Girth, confirm that for us. Whether or not I'm supposed to be standing here? No. <laughs> no, whether or not this was made by the same people that did the alien hominid. Yeah. I'd be very curious. That was that was back in Newgrounds days. It was. It was on Newgrounds. <laughs> it, was, it was the night before Newgrounds. <laughs> and all through the house, Ego Raptor was animating. And even a mouse. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I've actually ever seen him do a mouse, but I'll trust you. Mm. Uh, according to an interview with JonTron, he's really into foot doll fetish. Sorry, what? <laughs> it's when you dress feet up <laughs> like dolls. Uh, okay, I didn't know that was a thing. And I couldn't tell if he was joking. <laughs> Probably wasn't. Well, because he said, like, the first time he said it, and it sounded like a joke, and then after he's like, no, seriously, I'm into that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of strange, but whatever you're into. Yeah. He's a huge inspiration. Different strokes for different for folks, right? Yeah. Literally. Different ways to stroke. Oh yeah. For different folks. Different... Okay, I think, I think we need to get him one more time here. Ow. So the, the shooting kind of makes your character commit. Nice. I love that. Yeah, I love how you have to jump on him just so that I can jump on him. Yeah. I'm gonna collect his tooth. <laughs> I thought he was gonna put it in his mouth. <laughs> just chewing on it. Yeah. It's real. <laughs> yeah, real gold. He looks so proud of themselves. Um, okay, so the call to action. 
Right. I originally did the same call to action that they did, which was the next previous subscribe. Mm-hmm. And then eventually I was like, the, the branding icon gives you a subscribe button. And I don't really want the group, like, I don't really want the audience that wouldn't have subscribed if it wasn't thrown in their face. Yeah. To me, because like, we're long form Let's Play people. Uh, like, P- I, it's the, it's so the kind of thing. Long form customers. Yeah, people who want to watch the whole series. I'm still. The, the, don't get me wrong here. I still. If someone wants to watch just episode 17 of something, then I'm happy that you're here at all. But the subscribers, the people who click the subscribe button, I want them to, to. I want the. Care. I want an accurate subscription number. We have 89 subscribers right now, and maybe three views an episode. So yeah. That's a little off. <laughs> It's off by roughly the same ratio that a lot of people's are. Yeah, and that's why I'm really impressed with the Game Grumps. About 2 million subscribers, and uh, the first of, of a series often gets a million five. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, and I've been noticing their averages have been going up like 300,000 compared to 200,000 when I first started uh, seeing them. Um, but eventually I took the subscribe thing out. I figured the Patreon thing was more important. Yeah. And then I'm really happy that I decided not to just say, well, if the Grumps have done it, then it must work. Because I thought, well, what, how else can I make the call to action better? And I threw in the, the playlist and the Bros Play playlist. Oh, nice. And I really hope people eventually appreciate that. I think they will. Like Once it's all sort of set up, and they'll be coming to this stuff after the fact. Unless yeah. they're one of our three. Well, it is. And we love you if you are. <laughs> hey, Dad. Um, uh, no, it's, already, it's, it's set up already. Like, you can already click those. Yeah, I just mean that it'll be more of an archive by the time... Right, right. Yeah. Like, the majority of people watch this. That's true. Very true. That is kind of nice. There's, like, no pressure with these episodes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. And, oh! And it'll and be really fun have... to come back to these episodes and look at the numbers on it and hear us talk about how this episode will probably get three views. Yeah. Because it'll be higher. Like, every time I go back to the old people, like, you got a PewDiePie. I think I've said this before on the show. But he subs- his video where he su- uh, celebrates 50,000 subscribers has, like, more than a million or two million views. I have a feeling it wasn't two million people watching and only 50,000 subscribing. <laughs> be such- that would be so <laughs> shitty. Yeah. If people just came back and just never subscribed, like, why? Yeah, it was like a running joke. It was like never giving Leo an Oscar. <laughs> you know, despite it being, like, very worthy. Yeah. Fucking trying to change your D-pad stuff with this, this foam on, on my hands really hard. Yeah, the foam definitely restricts your hand uh, quite a bit when you're trying to use a controller. Yes, disembowel. If you grapple with the, the katana and then use it, you disembowel. Jesus. It doesn't actually remove organs, but it's the same concept. Oh, cool. I attacked him on the wall. <laughs> You see me Batman in the background? <laughs> Not really. I was kind of just focused on getting him off the roof. I kept doing this, but I was missing. So I was just kind of like jumping in the back. Uh, what was I saying? PewDiePie. Something about PewDiePie. Oh, well. These guys are really annoying because they can dodge. Pretty much nobody else can dodge. Can't dodge Ooh. that, though. Can't dodge life. You can jump backwards off these things, which is pretty impressive. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your addition. <laughs> we have a big boy in the building. Oh, I can keep him stunned down for a really long time if he's the only one. Oh, yeah. And he's the only one. But we know he's not the only one. Am I the only one? Oh. Oh. Dodger Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> unnecessary sound. Oh Jesus! But very. Jiffy is here. <laughs> I don't feel bad about this at all. <laughs> I've been really. I don't know if I brought this up on the show, or if I should keep, to keep or if I should keep referring to the fact that I don't bring things up on the show or not. But uh, I've been really enjoying Family Guy recently, season eleven and twelve. Yeah, I don't think you've mentioned that on the show before, but you have said it's that to me. It's still fucking brilliant. Like, ab- like, just Seth MacFarlane and all. Just good on you, every one of you. It's just hilarious. Sometimes they go a bit far. They definitely push it, but that's... A lot of it is, um... It's not just about comedy. It's 
using comedy to present really serious topics sometimes. And so it can be, of course, offensive. Um, but Seth MacFarlane said back on an anniversary episode that um, the, the intention is to show a mirror to society and say, look how ugly you are. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what they do. Um, they never really say, like, they say some pretty ridiculous things, but most of it's pretty true. Yeah, and a lot of it is supposed to reflect the opinions of the characters to demonstrate the ridiculousness of people and not necessarily Seth MacFarlane having a problem with Mexican people or something. I think Seth MacFarlane has a people has a problem with people who tell him how to run his show. Yeah. So I think he pretty much just, you know, says fuck you to all they're, those people. They're not on Fox, are they? Um, I don't know. I really don't know how. Because I know what Simpsons is, and they love to make fun of Fox. Yeah. Yeah, they've been making fun of Fox since before it was popular. I wonder. I wonder if companies like that, like, when you hear... Like, there's a Game Grumps animated where Aaron's just going off about, uh, well, Subway, but also going off about um, peanut butter cups. And I wonder if those companies are just totally cool with that, because any publicity is good publicity. Yeah. Because he, he's they're, they're not really presenting the information as, like, this is toxic. Like, they're just, uh, it's kind of like a, just a gripe. I'm always curious as to whether these com- cer- certain companies, I imagine, have a problem with anyone with any negative impact. Uh, Oh, this guy cannot block both yeah, directions. Yeah, no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, well, I would think that, especially Subway, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen the Game Grumps animated, it's uh, it's Aaron, um, otherwise known as Ego Raptor, and he's just kind of giving his two cents on Subway. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't really say anything that bad about it. He just says it's like kind of taxing, but going to any fast food place is taxing and annoying. Yeah. You know, talking to some really, really stupid person who they've just put in this position for minimum wage. <laughs> It's, remember it's that pretty... woman? Remember that woman with the really disgusting uh, hair that was like, like just like frizzy oh, and falling yeah. out everywhere. <laughs> Dad was so upset about it. He's like, I get it. Like, like yeah, you're you are definitely right to. It's just unfortunate that you have to tell people. Yeah. Like, so... Excuse me, can you not put your pube hair in my boot? <laughs> yeah. So in the in the subway, there was this. Oh, we one... gotta bleep that out. We'll bleep it out with. Um, Why? I'd just rather keep that information. Uh, Count of 10,000 people. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll keep it in. Um, I'd rather not say where we live, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a, there's a subway there with with poor management and poor... Well, this is, we should say, first of all, this was years ago, and I don't even think the same people are, are managing or running it, so... Yeah, well, actually, it's been very good ever since. It's yeah. just that we walked in and... You know how some people have hairnets and there's a few stray hairs sticking out? Yeah. This was more like... <laughs> That's how her hair would be, but then she just didn't put a hairnet on it anyway. <laughs> she just didn't give. It was very, very pubic. Yeah, well, I mean, part of that was that if she had, uh, she had very dark hair. I'm going to regret saying that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like my sandwich was okay in the end. <laughs> Seemed okay. Although I think the pube hair actually made it better. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think that sentence is going to be said ever again. <laughs> Although, what's funny is that people refer to genital hair as pubic hair, but all hair that grows during puberty is actually pubic hair. So facial hair, armpit hair, chest hair. Uh, no, I don't. No? No, pubic hair is on, in the pubis zone. The pubis zone. I believe, like, I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but, yeah, like, well, the pubic con- area. There is a pubic bone. That is confusing. Yeah, so I'm pr- I, I don't believe that chest hair is uh, well, pubic Well, my hair. bad, um... Element chest hair. Elementary school teachers, <laughs> science teachers who told me opposite information. Thank you for joining us. 